trafficking of human beings, that is the buying and selling of people for labor and or sex, is a clear violation of human dignity. In Georgia, human trafficking for sexual and labor purposes is a critical issue. Law enforcement officials report sex trafficking in more than 100 counties in Georgia. No area is immune. Parents need to be aware that there can be signs of recruitment by traffickers directed at young teenagers, even in affluent areas. And they need to teach young people to not only avoid, but to report any signs of recruitment or solicitation. Not only should we be aware of the many forms of trafficking, but we must look for opportunities to call upon our lawmakers to protect those most vulnerable to this horrific life. Traffickers, both those selling and those buying human beings for labor or sex, must be held accountable through our justice system. And we must recognize that those trafficked, especially the young, are victims in need of a system of care. We have an obligation to make sure that survivors are given an opportunity for rehabilitation and healing over a long period of time, and often public funding is necessary. It is our responsibility to make sure that we have laws and policies in place that protect the vulnerable and appropriately punish the predators. Our commitment to justice requires that we learn about these issues and educate our public officials so they can enact change. Another issue of justice and morality impacting all of us is care for creation or stewardship of the environment. Pope Francis has spoken clearly about the need to protect all aspects of our common home. Integral ecology, environmental, economic, and social ecology addresses the human and social dimensions within the confines of our physical world. Pope Francis is also most eloquent in identifying the relationship between the poor and the fragility of the planet. He says in his encyclical Laudato Si, that a true ecological approach always becomes a social approach. It must integrate questions of justice in debates on the environment, so as to hear both the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor. Additionally, faithful citizenship relates the pride of the migrating poor with environmental degradation. The Archdiocese of Atlanta has implemented a Laudato Si initiative and renewed its Laudato Si action plan so that we as individuals, families, and parish and school communities can make a commitment to the care for creation. Our team is engaging with pastors and schools as well as our elected officials. And we invite you to join the effort to learn how to get involved and advocate in your own communities.